James, a loss like this, you know, against one of the best teams in the nation, you guys kept it relatively close. Is this something you can use as a measuring stick for this program? Um, I feel like that as a team as a whole, we uh, try our best and execute a game plan. I feel like that, you know, this team that we went against a really good team, and I feel like that as a group, you know, we just got to learn from mistakes and be able to push on. I feel like that I agree with you. I think that's a good measure stick for us to see what we can be. There's so much more we can improve on and be better off for the season. James, you've talked about, you guys have talked about fast starts and embracing the, the environment to come out the way you guys did on the first couple of series, to really hold that good kind of offense down. What does that say about the steps this group has taken here the last several weeks from oh, yeah. a defensive standpoint? Oh, yeah, well, I doubt, you know, since the beginning of the season, you know, we've always had like a slow start, as I say right now. But, you know, like, as the season goes on, we're getting better and better, get comfortable with the scheme and get comfortable with ourselves and play what we can and can't do. And I feel like the first couple of series we had it shown, you know, we all play, play fast, play physical, try to execute our job and everything and, and show in the field. And now one thing we got to do now is be able to do it consistently throughout the whole entire game instead of just the first couple of series or first half or, you know, third quarter, you got to do it the whole entire game. For guys who talked about the – who were on the field last year for the Ohio State game. Did you guys talk about that at all coming into this, just making sure that didn't impact you this time around? And did you see some improvement from where you were at at this stage a year ago? Oh, yeah, well, I doubt. I mean, like, you know, after seeing last year's game, you know, it was a complete embarrassment, you know, 52 to 21. And, you know, now our team's fired up. You know, we realize that we don't want to get embarrassed. Like, we're a really good team, and we have proof to much that we are. And, you know, and, it was our time to show how physically we could possibly be and everything. You know, we fall short, but you know, this team is, is strong, strong mind and strong will, and we're gonna keep pushing and keep fighting. James, you're, you're playing a couple of guys that the Harvard Harris is gonna be a top five pick. And this is a really high end player. You can do almost everything perfect and those guys can just make plays. Is that frustrating? Is that other cultural challenges that Well playmakers make plays, man, you know, those two guys, you know, they they make plays, and that's what happened today. You know, they made a couple of 50 50 balls and cut, make some cuts, and you know, got some good plays off of it. You know, we just got to learn how to eliminate the explosiveness and try and get down to uh, the, the, the little details right so we keep executing what we got to do. Big play, you can have big plays and everything, but you know, if overall the game, you know, you get shut down by two yard, one yard, three yard games and everything, you know, that, that goes a long way. Also, with, with Henderson in particular, just what, what did he bring to that? game today and just, you know, how do you defense running back like that? So we got to make sure we're the last scrimmage, man. You know, can't have a back like that, have space. You know, you got good cuts and everything. So we got to create penetration and eliminate, uh, eliminate the last scrimmage. So our linebackers come fill in and also be line to go ahead and penetrate the last scrimmage as well, too. We just got to be a disruptor as a defense to limit that. Yeah. So with, with the turnovers, you guys win the turnover battle and whatnot, just in your eyes, just <laughs> How much do you think that helped, helped y'all stay in the game to that point, especially with like two interceptions by Rico? Or one more interception by Rico, I should say. Oh, yeah, well, I doubt, you know, turnovers win games, but most of usually statistics show that whoever went to them about to win the game and everything, you know, in this case, it didn't happen. But, you know, our job is the defense, get the ball to our offense as much time as we can. I feel like that we try our best to do that and give opportunities for our offense to get stuff going for them and everything. You know, we just keep doing a better job of preventing offense from scoring and getting more opportunities for our defense to feel more comfortable, you know, offense to feel more comfortable. James, with